Another useful tool to customize tkinter is called TTK Bootstrap. This one, like custom tkinter, is an external module that you have to install. TTK Bootstrap is an external module that has really good theme support. What that means is, well, for custom tkinter, we customized every widget individually. For TTK Bootstrap, instead, we are creating one theme and applying this theme to every single widget. While this means that we have a bit less control, it makes it much easier to style widgets. Although, before we can use it, we have to install it. As always, this either happens in the PowerShell if you're on Windows or in the terminal on macOS. To install it, in my case on Windows, I would need pip install ttk bootstrap. If you run the code now, we get a short message and then we have it installed. If you're using macOS, you would use pip re install ttk bootstrap. And that would happen in the terminal. The code I am going to start with is looking like this. We are doing the usual imports and window creation. The really important bit is this. We have a label and then three buttons. Finally, we are running the entire app, so nothing special. If I run this code, we can see we have a basic app with three buttons and a label. To style this, we have to import TTK Bootstrap, which means import TTK Bootstrap. And just by importing TTK Bootstrap, we are already applying a new theme to our app. Meaning if I run the code now, we can already see we have much nicer looking buttons. Although to actually use TTK Bootstrap, what you usually see is that people import it as TTK. The reason for that is that TTK Bootstrap basically works like TTK in the sense that all of the important widgets like label, button, and so on exist inside of it. And we are just accessing them, except if we are using TTK Bootstrap, they all look much nicer. Because of that, we don't need tkinter TTK at all. If I run the entire app now, everything still works as before. There's only one change that you absolutely have to be aware of. And that happens on this line here. When we are using TTK Bootstrap, we don't want to use tk.tk. Instead, we want to use tk.window. If I run this now, we can see we have a different kind of title bar with a custom icon. But other than that, not much has changed. The reason why we need this window is because with that, we can add one more argument, and that is called theme name. This is where the actual magic happens for TTK Bootstrap. Because in here, we can, for example, add darkly, run the code now, and they can see we have applied a custom theme to the entire app. Another theme that we could be using is called journal. If I run this now, we have a completely different style. If you want to know all of the available custom themes, you have to look at the website. There's a full list. Let's have a look at that one, actually. The website is looking like this. And in here, you have lots of explanations in terms of what you can do. We can already see a couple of styles here. Although to find all of the styles at the top, you have to go to themes. In here, you find one theme that is called Litera. This is the default theme. On the left side, you can see light themes and dark themes. Let's have a look at all of the light themes. In here, we have Cosmo, we have Flatly, we have Journal, Litera, and a few more. Quite a few more, actually. Besides that, we also have the dark themes. Here we have Solar, Darkly, Cyborg, and again, a few more. All of these themes you can use immediately. On top of that, if you want to create your own theme, you would have to go to TTK Creator, and in here, you have an app that you can use to create your own custom theme. I'm going to cover that in the next part. Although before that, there are a few more basic things we have to cover. The most important part is if you look at this app here, you can see we have lots of different styles. We have primary, secondary, success, and so on. And all of these are different colors inside of a theme. But right now, if I return to my code and run the entire thing, all of the buttons have the same color. For example, I might want to have the first button as red, then another button could be, let's say, a warning. The final button could be some kind of green button. How could I get these colors? To learn how to do that, the best way is to start with the documentation. Here we are again. The important part you want to look at now is called getting started. 
The installation we have already covered. Next up, there is a tutorial. This covers all you have to know about TTK Bootstrap. Since the entire module isn't terribly difficult, this is quite a short page. Which means this could be a really good exercise. Read through this website and try to understand how to style individual elements using TTK Bootstrap. So pause the video now and try to figure this one out. I guess a quick solution here would be using the boot style covers just about everything. This allows you to give certain widgets a certain kind of style. For example, one widget could have the style success, another widget could be info, and well, you have quite a few more themes. If you scroll down a bit more, you can see all of the themes here. You have primary, secondary, success, info, warning, danger, light, and dark. All of these can be passed into the boot style to get a certain kind of color. How you pass it in there, you can do in two ways. You can either import from ttkbootstraps.constants import everything, or if you go a bit further down, you can use a string that looks something like this. The module is really flexible here, so choose whatever you like. The recommended option, you can see it down here, is the dash. This one here. This is the one I'm going to use as well. In this one, you always specify the color first, and then if you want to have only the outline or the full color. I haven't covered this yet, but you can see it up here quite well. We can either have a button with a solid color or a button only with the outline. The solid color is the default. The outline you get if you add outline in the style. With that, we have all we need. Although I guess one more thing that I do want to cover to actually get a preview of how all of this is going to look, you can look at themes and I'm looking journal right now, which is a light theme. In here we have journal. You can see we have the primary, secondary, success, info, and all of the other colors. That way you have an idea of how this is going to look in the end. So here I am back in the code and let's start by coloring in the first button. I need the boot style with a string. Let's call this one danger. Now if I run this, the first button has a different color. Now it's orange instead of the default red. If you only want to have the outline, you would add a dash and then outline. Now if I run this, we only have an orangey label around it. And if you hover over it, like so, then you can see the full orange color. For the warning, you can add a boot style of warning. That is horrible spelling. That looks better. Now the warning is more yellowy. Finally, for the green one, I want to have a boot style that is called success. Running this one gives me a green button. While I only use buttons, these kind of styles would work with literally any widget. If I return to the documentation, you can see we, for example, have a checkbox, we have a progress bar, we have a slider, we have a toggle down here, we even have a calendar, we will learn about that later, and we have scroll bars, all with these colors here. Every single aspect of the app will be styled appropriately. All you have to do is use the Bootstrap TTK module and then use the normal widgets. That way, you already get all the styles you want. I guess on top of that, you have to set the boot style, but that's a fairly small task. Since all of that is fairly simple, we can do one more thing. Here's the app we created earlier with the more complex layout. And I want you guys to style this entire thing using the TTK boot style module. Make sure to use a couple of different colors. And pause the video now and implement this one yourself. For this one, I want to comment out from tkinter import TTK. Instead, I want to import TTK boot strap as TTK. Just by doing that, the app already looks quite a bit better. Although we can make a few more changes. First of all, inside of the app, I don't want to use tk.tk. .tk. Instead, I want to use ttk.window. Doing that gives me a much smaller app, but well, we're getting a different title bar. Although once we have that, inside of the super.init method, we can now set a theme name. This theme name could, for example, be darkly. 
That one I usually like quite a bit. Or to stick with what we have already seen, we could use journal. This one would look something like this. Other than that, we don't really have to make too many changes because we are still using TTK and the regular widgets. Although I guess what we could be doing when we are creating the menu, not the init, but in create the widgets, for example, for the buttons, I could use different styles. For example, I could have a boot style for menu button one. That could be danger. That makes the first button orange. I could use boot style for the second button. Let's call this one success. Now we have a green and an orange button. For the third button, I want to have, let's use dark and outline. Running this one, we are getting a third button, although I don't really like the styling here. But, well, you can see different kinds of styles. I think adding a tiny bit of padding here would make a lot of difference. When I am using the grid method to place all of the buttons, I want to add pad X of 4 and pad Y of 4. Like so. And this is a minor improvement. I think this is looking a little bit better, although the outline here doesn't work too well. I'm just going to remove it. Like so, this is definitely looking better. Next up, we can also change the menu slider. Once again, for that, we need a boot style. Let's use one we haven't used yet. For example, back in the app, one that I haven't covered yet is called info. We also haven't covered secondary. Let's use those two. The first slider should have the style info. The second one should have the style secondary. If I run this now, we get two sliders, one that is dark blue, the other that is more grayish. After that, we can style the check button. I'm only going to cover one because this is probably starting to get repetitive. In here, now we have one check button being blue, the other still being red. I think you get the idea, so I'm going to stop this. But I think the app already made quite a bit of progress. Although there are a couple things you want to be aware of. The most important one is that you still have the basic TTK widgets, which you see in particular here for the entries. Both of those are just labels with a background, and TTK Bootstrap doesn't style those. If you wanted to have a better color here, you would have to use a hexadecimal code to make a similar style compared to these buttons here, which certainly is doable.